Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Eric Ten Hag urging Manchester United to trigger Victor Lindelof extension. Manchester United's defensive options have evolved under Eric Ten Hag, some for better, some for worse. In the former category, however, the likes of Luke Shaw and Victor Lindelof have seen their standing increase. Shaw became not just the first choice left back at the club. Last season, his ability in central defence came to the fore and saw him moved ahead of Maguire in that position as well. As for Lindelof, he too impressed. At the back end of last season, injuries to first choice pairing Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez saw him thrust into the limelight after months playing second fiddle. Far from the Tim the Swede who first arrived in England, the Iceman was fantastic with his performances contributing to a 10-game streak in which United only conceded two goals on two occasions and never more. His two-footedness and ability to cover both centre-back positions impressed Ten Hag throughout the season, with the 35 million euros defender able to step in as a fine option to cover either of the manager's preferred options. As it stands, Lindelof will be free to negotiate with foreign clubs come January, with his current contract set to expire in June 2024. But Manchester United will not let that happen, with Give Me Sport reporting that the club will trigger their one-year extension clause in the coming weeks. It's an astonishing U-turn for a player who looked to be on his way out as recently as January, when playing time was scarce. But having won the battle with Harry Maguire to be the manager's first choice backup, the player is happy to stay and the manager wants to keep him. At 29 years of age, he is an experienced option and few players have had as difficult a time adjusting to English football and becoming stronger for it. That character will no doubt have been noticed by Eric Ten Hag as well. Man United have reason for waiting to let Harry Maguire leave for West Ham. West Ham have agreed a fee with Man United over the sale of Harry Maguire, but the Manchester club have a good reason for waiting to let the defender leave Old Trafford. In his press conference on Friday, West Ham boss David Moyes confirmed that the two clubs have reached an agreement, but according to Fabrizio Romano, the Hammers have not agreed personal terms with the England international yet, Although that is expected to not be a problem, the transfer journalist says that Man United are waiting to bring in a replacement for Maguire before letting him go and that Eric Ten Hag has two in mind, the journalist wrote. From what I'm being told, Harry Maguire has yet to agree personal terms with West Ham, but that will not be a problem. West Ham have already reached an agreement with Man United, which was confirmed by David Moyes at his press conference on Friday, so the London club feel like this deal will get done. However, it's my understanding that United want to wait and see who will be the replacement for their former captain before letting him leave Old Trafford this summer. Man United had scouts watching Jean-Claire Todibo on Friday night, and they are also keeping an eye on the situation of Pavar at Bayern Munchen as the player wants to leave. Mason Greenwood added back to a Football 2023 official video game partner of Manchester United. The final decision on Mason Greenwood's future at the club could arrive soon, and a potentially big hint has come through on what it could be a football formerly known as PES or Pro Evolution Soccer by Konami has added Greenwood back to the Manchester United squad in the latest database of the game. They are the official football video game partner of the club. He was removed in February 2022 after allegations pertaining to rape and sexual assault came to light against him. He was also suspended by Manchester United. Since then, all charges against him have been dropped as, according to a spokesperson for the Crown Prosecution Service, there was no longer a realistic prospect of conviction after key witnesses withdrew their cooperation from the investigation. Consequently, United have been left in a pickle. The audio and video recordings in the public domain ensure that the case of his return is not a cut and dried one.
On the other hand, he is being legally innocent means United cannot bring disciplinary charges of their own against the player. A decision on his future was expected before the Premier League season began, but recent reports indicated that it has been delayed. The club is reportedly waiting to consult with the women's team of the club before making any decision public. Female fans have also protested against the prospect of him returning to the club by realizing a statement to voice their opinion on the same. The club is reportedly looking at all avenues, including sending him out on loan away from the glare of Old Trafford. Meanwhile, Greenwood has been keeping himself fit. He has been seen training with the ball with the private coaches, who have previously worked with United players. In his personal life, he has become a father and is set to tie the knot with his fiancée. Until there is an official communication from the club, everything about Greenwood remains a guessing game. However, recent signs, with his inclusion in eFootball 2023 being the biggest one yet, could mean that a decision is on its way. Anthony Martial's mini saga over mooted Vener Bahshimov. Anthony Martial was, as reported by the People's Person yesterday, linked with a move to Inter Milan but links to Turkey caused some chaos. According to Turkish journalist Shiran Hamazoglu, Fred's move to Venerbahce opened up a dialogue between the Super League heavyweights and Manchester United, during which Martial was offered by Erkan, who represents Martial. Hamazoglu claimed that United were willing to let the Frenchman leave on a free transfer and that Venerbahce would need to pay the player a 4 million euro signing bonus along with an annual salary of 5 million euros. The Turkish side were said to be concerned with Martial's injury record at the price point and were hesitant to do a deal. Their priority attacking signing remained under of Marseille, meaning they would revisit Martial should that deal fall through. Erkan works under the umbrella of USFA management, who were quick to quash the report. On their Instagram page via Metro, they posted a screenshot of Hamazoglu's tweet along with the word fake. Hamazoglu responded, the journalist insisted that the Martial news we made is absolutely true and that he was in possession of correspondence to prove as much. Whether it was or was not true is of little consequence now. However, as confirmed by Fabrizio Romano, Venerbahce have agreed a deal to sign under from Marseille, meaning they have the attacking reinforcement they were looking for. Anthony Martial hold no interest to them now. If he ever indeed had done, the Red Devils will have to settle for only offloading one player to Venerbahce, with Fred traveling to Istanbul today to complete his medical. As for Anthony Martial, a lack of firm interest may well see him stay at the club this season, with his contract expiring in next June. Man United agree deal in principle to sell midfielder Fred to Venerbahce. Manchester United have agreed a deal in principle with Venerbahce for the sale of midfielder Fred. The Brazil international has been fancied to leave the Red Devils throughout the summer, following the club's purchase of Mason Mount from Chelsea. Fulham were initially considered as the main suitors for the player before Galatasaray joined the hunt. The Turkish outfit agreed terms with the Brazilian. However, Venerbahce have now won the race for his services. United have confirmed a deal in principle and he will undergo his medical test today. The Red Devils have not disclosed the fee for the transfer, but it has already been reported by Fabrizio Romano that the club will receive 15 million euros with add-ons. The Brazilian has been a key player for the Red Devils. He has produced some standout displays, but has lacked consistency over a long period of games. The 139,000 euros a week star has had a fantastic work rate over the years, but distribution-wise, he has been unconvincing. He had a pass accuracy of 81% last term. With the arrival of Mount this summer, Fred was expected to head for the exit door. United were initially expecting 23 million euros, but have accepted much less for his sale. 
In our view, United have made the right decision to sell him to Venerbahce. They have recouped valuable funds and could focus on signing another new midfielder. Fiorentina's Sofiane Mrabit has been mentioned as the top target, but United have also been linked with Everton midfielder Amado Onana over the last 24 hours. Manchester United now want to sign sensational Amado Onana. Manchester United are keen to sign Amado Onana from Everton in the summer transfer window. According to a report from the Daily Mail, Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is keen to bring the 21-year-old Everton midfielder to Old Trafford this summer. It's said that Onana is being viewed as an alternative to Sofiane Mrabit at United. Central midfield is definitely a position where Ten Hag needs to strengthen. The Dutchman needs to bring in more competition and cover for Casimiro with an upgrade on Scott McTominay needed if Man United are to force themselves back into the big time. And it seems as though Onana could be the man for the job this summer if the Red Devils fail to agree a deal to bring him Rabbit to Old Trafford. The Daily Mail reckoned that the Toffees ace is firmly on Ten Hag's radar this summer. I think that the Belgian is an elite player in the making. The 21-year-old has absolutely everything needed to reach the very highest levels of the game. He has power, pace, energy, stamina, dynamism and athleticism in abundance. The Everton ace is a powerful box-to-box -box midfielder and would provide Ten Hag with a completely different option in the middle of the park. The Belgium international is a tenacious tackler but also has the ability to carry the ball from one end of the pitch to the other with his incredible engine and tight ball control. Onana has been described by Sport Magazine as a sensational young player. I think he would be a superb addition for Manchester United this summer, but only if Everton are prepared to sell him for a reasonable fee. Man United could step up, I'll tie by under talks after Tom Hitton injury blow. Manchester United could step up negotiations to sign Venerbahce goalkeeper Altai Bayander after selling midfielder Fred to the Turkish outfit. The Red Devils recently reached an agreement with Venerbahce for the sale of Fred. The Super League side will pay 15 million euros including add-ons. The Brazil international ended his five-year association with United and we feel the club could step up talks with Venerbahce for Bayander. The Turkey international has been identified as United the prime target for the deputy goalkeeper role. The Red Devils value him at around £5 million. United currently have Andre Onana as the undisputed first choice goalkeeper after his arrival from Inter. However, there is currently a lack of quality backup. Dean Henderson is not 100% fit after recovering from a thigh surgery. He is expected to leave this summer. Meanwhile, Tom Hitton is out for a few weeks after picking up a calf injury. Matej Kovar impressed in the preseason, but he joined Leverkusen. This leaves the club significantly short in the goalkeeping department, considering Nathan Bishop was sold to Sunderland, while Radek Vitek is also on the sidelines. 17-year-old Harrison could be a surprise candidate on the bench for the season opener on Monday, but United are bound to pursue an experienced signing. Bayander has been on United's radar for a number of weeks, and we won't be surprised if the club pushed through a deal with Wiener Bahshi in the coming days. The 25-year-old has impressed with his command in the box alongside his sweeping abilities, he averaged nearly one successful run out per game last term. His passing accuracy was decent at 69%. He registered 4.9 long balls per game. Bayander should be a good backup option, as Henderson is expected to leave soon. Eric Ten Hag has already spoken with Nice defender Jean-Claire Todibu. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has already spoken with Nice defender Jean-Claire Todibu, according to Nice Matin. The Red Devils are currently in advanced talks with West Ham United over the sale of Harry Maguire. They are likely to sanction his departure as soon as they identify his replacement. Bayern mentions Benjamin Pavard has been heavily linked this week, but Nice Matin claimed that Ten Hag has recently held talks on the phone with Todibo. 
It's added that the Frenchman is excited by the prospect of joining a prestigious club like United. Nice are prepared to sell him for around 40 million euros. Todibo has developed into a top-class centre-back since his move to Nice from Barcelona. Last season, he was hugely consistent in the French top flight. The 24-year-old completed 89% of his passes, winning 2.2 tackles and 4.4 duels per game. In comparison, Pavard had quite similar statistics for Bayern. The Frenchman had a passing accuracy of 90%. He won 2.3 tackles and 5 duels per outing. However, we would personally prefer the club to sign Todibo. He is almost four years younger than Pavar and has more room to develop with the Red Devils. Pavar has the added ability to operate at right back, but United don't require another option in the role with the presence of Diogo Dallo and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. United had a scout in attendance to watch Todibo against Lille yesterday. This could be a big hint that they are considering a formal approach in the coming days. I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.